Hello Rocketry Community, Gerald Mukes Jr. here. Wanted to share with you all the two rockets I'm going to fly here next weekend with the Triple Minnesota group up in North Branch, Minnesota. August 11th, 2018. You can see here, Estes Big Daddy, the AMW Pro X Bigger Daddy. The first rocket you saw was the Estes Big Daddy, the original one from 1998. It is 3 inches in diameter and 21 inches tall. With the D-12-3 loaded in there, it weighs a half a pound, and on this flight it went to 475 feet at 117 miles an hour, and the rocket pulled 12 Gs. Now on the other side, the AMW Pro X Bigger Daddy, 4 inches in diameter and 28 inches tall, a 33% scale up of the Estes Big Daddy. Now instead of weighing a half a pound, this rocket comes in at a whopping 8.3 pounds. I had to fly on a much bigger motor. It flew on a Cesaroni K2045 and took it to 6,800 feet. And the speed flew 770 miles an hour, so just around Mach 1 and pulled 60 G's off the pad. Absolutely incredible. I had to go recover the rocket, pulled out the radio tracker, went almost two miles away, had to bring my father-in-law, and was surprised to see that all I got back was a nose cone with the parachute attached to that, the radio tracker, and the altimeter, which was inside the nose cone, meaning I had no bottom half of the rocket and no motor case. Those had separated, was pretty devastated, and was wondering how in the heck did I lose the bottom half of that rocket. We are sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled programming. We do have an update on the AMW Pro X Bigger Daddy. Let's go on scene to Gerald's house to see what we've learned. I have an update on the AMW Pro X Bigger Daddy. You can see here I have the nose cone. Well, after a year later, I have found the bottom half of the rocket. So the story behind this is uh, one day on a Facebook post I had noticed online, someone had said, hey, these two rockets have been recovered. And I looked at the picture a little bit more closely and noticed this bottom half, hey, that's my rocket. Looked a little bit more closer and that did identify it, contacted the individual that had recovered. It wasn't the person that had found it but got the rocket back, I looked it all over, and it's in absolute perfect condition. The motor case was in it. It looked like it had just flown yesterday. But I got it back and I'm real excited, so I will be flying it again. And then what ended up happening was the shock cord snapped. That's why the two halves separated. But at the end of the day, got it all back. Life is good, we'll fly again another day. Well, that's a nice way to hear that we closed the loop on the case that bottom half of the missing Bigger Daddy rocket and glad to see that Gerald has found his rocket but for it to be missing for over a year makes me wonder how could it be in such perfect condition sitting outside dealing with the elements makes me wonder back to your show